I am so excited to show you my latest sketchbook. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite sketchbooks that I've ever worked in, I think. Um, I just loved it. Loved working in this. Really nice small size, you can see by my hand. Really nice small size. It's a pith sketchbook. A Kabuso? Kabosu? Anyway, love this size. It made it really kind of manageable that I could sketch in it every single day. I've already lined up another pith sketchbook. I just love the pages in here. I love the paper. Really nice, really good quality uh, kind of watercolour paper. Um, but yeah, I've loved it so much that I wanted to kind of work on a sketchbook that is this size. So I kind of, I won't have the crease down the middle basically. So when I work in this new one, I can still work on both sides of the paper like here, but uh, yeah, it just makes it easier to kind of scan the images that I make. But yeah, as you can see, so it's kind of the same format, but I've really loved working this size because it feels really manageable. It's really quick to finish pages. Um, Something I've done with this sketchbook, which I haven't done before, is I just kind of chopped and changed throughout the book. So I didn't start at the very beginning and just only fill out page after page. I, well, I think I did start that way initially, but um, towards the end, when I felt kind of stuck with it, I just let myself use this as a doodle sketchbook. And as soon as I did that, I had this massive, kind of mindset mindset shift where suddenly it freed me up to do whatever I wanted in my sketchbook and nothing needed to be a finished piece nothing needed to be final nothing needed to be you know worthy of being something like this page for example was just so fun to play with color layer colors up and I still do feel the urge to kind of draw on top but at the same time I don't need to finish it same with this one just color play I could draw around it, but I don't need to finish it. And at the same time, um, it's given me the space to just doodle and practice my drawing skills, which is what I find so meditative. So again, like pushing myself, not just drawing a flower, but kind of expanding on that idea and just, just letting ideas flow. So it didn't need to be a finished piece. Although, interestingly, once I took that pressure off myself to make a finished piece for each spread, that's when each spread became a finished thing. Like this, I just did this whilst I was watching TV. I just had initially a color wash, which I'd done weeks and weeks ago. So that's the color you can see behind. Um, and I'd left it like that because I didn't know what to do on top because I felt so much pressure. But then I thought, right, I'll just draw one of my vines over the top. And just while I was watching TV, I wasn't thinking it about what I was doing. I think that's something I've realized. I overthink everything. And I just went with the flow and this was what happened in the end. And I was really pleased with the final spread. And to me, it kind of looks like what I would call a finished piece. You know, other pages like this one, I didn't really like the color work I'd done. But as soon as I added the black around the edge, it kind of framed it and just lifted it in a whole different way. Uh, this one was one of the pages I didn't add black to, and that was kind of daunting for me. But this was just a quick sketch. This probably took about five, maybe seven minutes, this page. Not very long. In fact, these two leaves here took the longest. And it was just a fun little exercise of drawing and trying to draw leaves. So yeah, it's been so fun to work through this. And because I just used it as a doodle sketchbook, it's meant that I've actually finished it. For the first time ever, I have finished a sketchbook, which never happens to me. <laughs> Something I also do usually with sketchbooks is I don't like to start on the front page. The first page I find so daunting that I leave it blank. And the same thing happens towards the back. I get so excited to start my new sketchbook that I buy a new one and then I can't be bothered to do the last few pages. And with this one, I've really pushed myself because it was December, it was Christmas time. I thought, right, I don't need to start a new sketchbook yet. I'll leave that for the new year. And so I'll just let myself doodle. Now this is a perfect example. I chopped some little sections out of this back page and just used it to kind of like, I don't know, do labels or something. Um, 
but yeah so I thought right cut this off cut this off at an angle make it kind of an organic line and then use that as part of the drawing and that was really fun because the, these two then blended together it was a really fun way to work in my sketchbook it's something I wouldn't have done ordinarily um, I have also used the very back page for colour swatching so colour swatching stuff that was kind of in my pencil case and I did the same on the front page uh, and I put the date which is helpful I should put the date at the end as well so the date I started which was September so October, November, December so this is basically taking me three months maybe three and a half months to finish it's just been so so fun to work in this and it's really inspired me for the new year something I always come back to is like my mandala orbs and just sketching florals and sketching my like night skies and playing with colour so this is a really really simple one here just half an orb with a vine around the outside and then my midnight skies and this always helps loosen me up if I'm ever creatively stuck or I've got a, a block um, I don't know what to draw or I've been overthinking things this is what I do to kind of loosen myself up and just get back in the flow again so very much doodling almost like zentangle type doodles but yeah just not overthinking it and it's just such a fun way to work such a fun way to create and just by taking the pressure off as well so I'm really excited now for the new year to get stuck into my brand new sketchbook as well and to see what comes out and I'm going to try and keep this same mentality of just letting myself kind of play and doodle and use it as a doodle sketchbook um, yeah and just see what happens so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this very quick flick through I hope it's inspired you uh, whether it's just to play around with colour whether it's to just start drawing again um, or whether it's just doodling, that mindless doodling that you do when you're watching TV or you're chatting on the phone. Uh, all these things creatively really, really help to loosen you up. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like what you've seen and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.